Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer, well first of all, well, let me show you the beer first and I'll pan, a, pan around to uh, I'm hanging out on Google Plus with um, some of the, uh, well, the, the some of the great British beer reviews on YouTube, here we go. Let me turn this around. That's Stuart Pickard. Uh, Teddy, make a noise. Hello. Is Teddy K? Hello. Hello. <laughs> An urban Viking. There he is. Yeah, there's there's the urban Viking. Look at the cheap camera he's got. Look, you're you're Same as Dave's one. <laughs> right, I'm going back. I'm getting back into the review. Okay. Right, beer, beer's gone. Right, beer is um, yeah. This is um, J W Lee's Moonraker Strong Ale. It's seven point five percent ABV, and well, I think it's just described as a, a strong ale. We've got a normal black cap on this beer. <laughs> okay. The poor? Well, it's got quite a big head on this beer. It looks, um. Oh. It's, uh. Yeah, it's a two finger head. It's off white. But the beer actually looks quite murky. It looks. It looks almost like. Deep puddle water. I can't hear, I'm going to just turn these down a little bit. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> back to the beer. The beer is, um, yeah, it's quite, it looks quite deep and like a, like a dark, very dark puddle water, if you like. Let's get the nose. Hmm, that's interesting. Not much of a head there either. Uh, totally lost it now. To not much of a, a nose on the beer either. Right, let's dig in. Cheers, everyone. Whoa. Oh, that's um, it's very vinous. It's very vinous. Almost, it's almost got a. It leans quite heavily somehow to being a red wine, but with all of them deep, dark, roasted malts you'd expect from the beer. <coughs> I was expecting for 7.5%, I was expecting quite a big hit of flavours. Um, you, you almost think you're getting a big hit of alcohol. I think if you were, if you just picked this up by act, by complete accident off the supermarket shelf, and you were just say a mass-produced lager drinker, I think you would go, "Wow, it's it's jam-packed full of just a really big alcohol burn." But it's not quite that. It's it's more it's more a like a deep raisin or something of that description. Not picking up no hops in this beer at all, but I don't. I, I mean, this is a traditional beer. I, I don't think um, this beer was ever going to be 
full of hops and you were not going to get a big, big hoppy bang off this beer. I'll tell you what I do like, if I just wash the beer around, there's, there's nice conditioning on the beer. Really nice conditioning on the beer. And I think a lot of people also, they would pour the beer out and look at it because it's murky. A lot of people drink with their eyes. So they're gonna they're gonna go, ooh, ooh this beer's murky. I, I I don't really don't really dig this, but don't drink with your eyes. Drink with your drink with your palate. Drink with your taste buds. I think if you can drink this with your taste buds, it's not a bad beer. Okay, Moonraker Strong Ale. Brewed by J.W. Lees for over 50 years, Moonraker is named after farm workers who once tried to rake the moon's reflection from a Middleton stream. This deliciously rich dark ale has been lovingly brewed to the original recipe. It, has firm, it is a firm favourite with beer connoisseurs the world over and is a past winner of Camera's Champion, beer, Champion Winter Beer of Britain. Splendid on its own or perhaps with a Few crumbs of strong English trees. Yeah, I reckon you could food match this beer. Moonraker has also been the key ingredient in national award-winning pies. There we go. Michael Lee Jones, head brewer, made that comment. Uh, website for J.W. Lee's. Website, guys, J.W. Lee's. It would be jwlease.co.uk. Thank you to the man there, Stuart Pickard. <laughs> right, okay. Um, time for a rating. Get the rest in there. I've had stronger beers, and the stronger beers I've had have not had that big, strong, like resinous, raisiny kind of taste. I think they probably could have hidden the ABV of 7.5% a bit better. But other than that, it's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. I think I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a 7. 7 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Um, thanks for the guys for joining me. I'm going to go back now and join these guys. We're going to have a drink now for the next 4 or 5. I don't know Dave, 6 hours? Should we have a 6 hour session? Oh, Chris is in as well. Real Ale in 140 has just joined us. So I'm going to make a move. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like. And cheers.